Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the relationship between congressional reapportionment and redistricting? Every 10 years, the U.S. Census counts the population. This census data is crucial for congressional reapportionment. Reapportionment is the process of redistributing seats in the House of Representatives. The total number of House seats is fixed at 435. States may gain or lose seats based on population changes. Once reapportionment is done, redistricting begins. Redistricting is the process of redrawing district boundaries. This ensures each district has roughly equal populations. State legislatures or independent commissions usually handle redistricting. The goal is to reflect population shifts and maintain equal representation. And reapportionment affects the number of seats each state has. Redistricting affects how those seats are divided within the state. Both processes aim to ensure fair representation in Congress. They can significantly impact political power and resource allocation. Den and redistricting can lead to gerrymandering. Gerrymandering is manipulating district boundaries for political gain. This can affect election outcomes and voter representation. Public input and legal challenges can influence redistricting. Den understanding these processes is key to grasping U.S. political dynamics. They shape how citizens are represented in Congress. Keeping informed helps ensure fair and effective representation. Denen. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.